Hey everyone, in this lecture, we will discuss about Pioneer Number System. So what is Pioneer Number System? Why is it so famous? Long ago, when civilizations probably started, we humans discovered decimal number system and it has exactly 10 digits and digits in this number system would be 0, 1, 2, up to 9. This is what we say decimal number system. Not so long, another number system became famous at the language of computers and this system it's called binary number system. And the binary number system have only two digits, zero and one. Now if a number has n digits, we say that the base of the number system is n. So the decimal number system can also be called as 10 base number system. Similarly, binary number system can also be called as base two number system. Now the question is, why computer understands binary? And the simplest explanation can be that a computer is an electrical device and all electrical device understands electrical signals. So say for example, if we have an input wire to this machine and there are only two states possible for this wire. Let's say this is my device and this is the input wire. And there are only two states possible for this wire, whether this wire is signaled or that whether this wire is not signaled. And we can say that when the state of this wire is signaled, that state it corresponds to one. And when the state of wire is not signaled, then we can say that the state is corresponds to zero. When it is not signaled. So zero and one in binary actually translates to signal and no signal state in electrical device. So if we want to make a number, something like this, what we can do, we can, we can take multiple wires and multiple inputs to represent multiple ones and multiple zero. Now let us see how to write a number in binary number system. To understand that, let's first explain the decimal number system. As we have seen in the elementary school mathematics that we write number in one row and multiple columns. Let's say I want to write 125. How do I write it? In the rightmost column corresponds to the rightmost digit. We will have 5 and this column corresponds to the 10th digit and it has number 2 and this column uh, corresponds to 100th digit and it has 100 place sorry and it has value 1 so in powers of 10 what I could write that this rightmost digit it's equal to 10 to the power 0 and this is this may be called as 10 to the power 1 and this may be called as 10 to the power 2 and if we write a number in the decimal number system then the value of this can be written simply as 5 and it has a weight which is equal to 10 to the power 0 and if I comes to the 10th place it has a weight 10 to the power 1 and we can see that this place is 100th place and it has a value 10 to the power 2 likewise this place will have a weight of 10 to the power 3 and similarly now if I want to evaluate the number so what I can do, I can simply sum it up and as we can see that after summation, what we will get it's equal to 125. So this is the way how we write the numbers in decimal number system. Now let's discuss how we can write the same numbers in, in the binary number system. As we know that in the binary number system, we have only two states, either the electric signal is on or either it is off. So we can see it as base two number system. Let's say now we have been given a number and that number is 1 1 1 1 1 0 1. Let's say this is the number given to me. Now this place will have a weight which is equal to like this 2 to the power 0 because 
in the decimal system we have we, there are possible 10 numbers and it is of base 10 so we write it as 10 to the power 0 and we call this place as 10th place and this place as 100th place likewise in the binary system what we can say this place adds 2 to the power 1th place and this place as 2 to the power second place and this is this place at 2 to the power 3 place now if i want to write the expression for it it will evaluate something like this Two square and one into two to the power three and one into two to the power four one into two to the power five and one into two to the power six so this is basically one zero four eight sixteen thirty two sixty four and if I sum this expression, it will evaluate to 125. So as we can see that if I want to write 125, which is in base 10 into binary number system, it will appear something like this. So now we have learned that if we have been given any number in base 2 or in binary number system how we can convert it into decimal number system this is all about the basics of binary number system that's it from this lecture thanks